Yes. Well, international election monitors report thousands of people are descending on magistrates' office across South Africa's Zulu heartland to get their voter identity documents. The last-minute rush follows this week's decision by the Nkata Freedom Party leader to lift his boycott of the historic election. Voting begins on Tuesday. The outcome will end more than three centuries of white domination. CNN's Mark Watts joins us now live from Johannesburg with the latest on the campaigning. Mark? Hillary, with four days to go, candidates are crisscrossing the country in hopes of swaying any last-minute or undecided voters. Two of the major things are to bury the past and the economy. It's a very untraditional event at a very traditional location. Why are people acting like this at the Johannesburg stock market? Because ANC President Nelson Mandela stopped here on the campaign trail. He told supporters a vote for the ANC is a vote for financial prosperity of South Africa. In our concern to restore economic stability in this country, we have called upon our people now to end mass action. In Cape Town, his rival, South African President F.W. de Klerk, called on people to end mass action and violence also. We must be wary of those driven by fear, hatred, and revenge who will refuse to put the bitterness and prejudices of the past behind them. Mass action and violence have often been used to settle disputes in South Africa. In Katha Freedom Party candidate Mongo Sutu Budlezi says people are naive to think that won't continue. But nevertheless, I think that the temperatures have been brought down, and I think that in itself will help very much. Days before the voting begins, the signs of a unified future far outweigh the small voices of opposition. The flag of Siskai, a so-called independent homeland set up by apartheid, is lowered. The new flag of South Africa will fly here soon. And this weekend, the campaigning will intensify even further. All three major candidates will hold major rallies in anticipation of South Africa's first all-race elections. Mark Watts, CNN, reporting live in Johannesburg. Mark, thanks very much. Sonia?